Hey, welcome back to the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel. It's Monday, so it means it's Munchy Monday. If you are brand new here at the channel, welcome along. Don't forget to help us out by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification tab. Now, I don't know when we are going to be traveling overseas again. I am dying to get back to Japan for a lot of reasons, but one of them is they have a snack over there that uh, that I tried and absolutely fell in love with, and it is, well, this. It is a chip coated in chocolate. <sighs> It is heaven, trust me, it is absolutely heaven. Anyway, I have been dying to go back to Japan so I can stockpile these. And I thought the other day, well, hang on a second, I might be able to make them myself. So let's get in the car, let's get down to the shop, let's buy some ingredients and see if we can make these wonderful Japanese snacks. So we're down here at Audi in Kennington, Perth, Western Australia, getting the ingredients for heaven in a pack. I suppose not in a plate, in a pack. And it is, of course, the chocolate coated chips. These ones, that's what we want. The original. Okay, we need one other thing. Okay. 
So I've had these ships before many, many times in fact, and I've got a feeling that they may not be thick enough. But we're going to give it a go anyway, but if you do find thick cut chips in the original, grab them instead. Well, we're back from the shop with the I'm All Abroad backpack, and if you would like one of these, you've just got to go to our Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash I'm All Abroad, and there's two packs there you can go on. There's a dollar pack, which is 25 cents a week, and for that you get to see all bonus content and advanced screenings of everything on YouTube, or there is a five dollar package where you could score yourself an I'm All Abroad backpack. Anyway, we're not here to talk about backpacks, we're here to make chocolate coated chips. So we've got plain chips, and we have chocolate, the two only ingredients I think we need. And I grabbed these other things from the shop as well, because uh, there are new products that we're going to taste test them, and I thought they would be nice chocolate coated as well, and they are potato wedges. They're air fried, so apparently they're healthy for you, but reading the ingredients and everything on the back, they, in fact, are not as healthy as the Japanese lollies we made the other day. But nevertheless, we're going to chocolate coat them and we're going to eat them. The other problem I have with these is, and I didn't realise this till after I purchased it, looking at the ingredients and everything on the back of it, there's also text from the Bible. And I don't think that's appropriate. I really don't. I went out and purchased them with my good hard money from a company that is obviously making uh, a profit out of these. And I think there is a time and a place for religion and it is not on the packaging of the food in which I purchase. So I don't know what you think, but nevertheless, we'll chocolate coat them. We'll eat them, we'll see how we go. Let's get this underway by getting the chocolate in a bowl. I'm going to leave a little bit in there so I can eat it while watching TV tonight. And we're going to microwave this in 30 second stints and stir it after every 30 seconds because we don't want to burn the chocolate. Do we call it stints? I think we call it stints. Okay, slowly getting there. While we're waiting, let's try these. Potato wedges, DJ and A make them. Ready to eat snack, sweet chili we'll go for first. I think the sweet chili and the chocolate might go down together very, very well. So that's what they look like. They do look like potato wedges. They don't feel like potato wedges though, but they do look like potato wedges. Okay, honestly, they taste like potato wedges, but the feel in the mouth is not very nice at all. They're not very pleasurable whatsoever to eat. However, once they're chocolate coated, they may not be so crumbly in the mouth. Hopefully the chocolate might soak into them a little bit. And when I say crumbly in the mouth, um, Oh, it's, it's, it's weird. It's like you're chewing on honeycomb. Yeah, it's like, being, it, it's like chewing honeycomb. So it's not uh, crumbly in the mouth as if you're uh, biting into a potato chip. And let's try these ones. Smoke, garlic and chili. Again, looks like a wedge. Mmm, you can really smell the smokiness in this.
not bad, but again, it, it's got that horrible crunch to it like you're, you're chewing on honeycomb, which isn't very nice. But nevertheless, our chocolate looks like it is ready now. We might actually give it just another little burst in the microwave, just so it's really, really runny. Because when we dip it in the chips, we don't want a thick layer of chocolate on the chips. We want it to run off, and that's why we have the serving place here and the rack that hopefully the chocolate will run off a little bit. I think that'll do. That looks pretty runny to me. Okay, there's no other way of doing it, I guess, than just to uh, put a few chips in there. Mm. I can lick the spoon. Only I'm going to be eating this, so it's all right. All right, dip the chips in the chocolate. It doesn't have to be like fully, fully, fully covered. It doesn't matter if you miss a little bit on it. Just as long as you get some chocolate on the chip. Onto the tray it goes. Now the chips also in Japan that are chocolate coated seem to be a bit thicker than the chips here. So uh, if you can buy thick cut chips, grab some of them instead, might be a bit better. That's why I grabbed these wedges because I thought, well, they, there's a little bit of thickness to them, so it might make this a whole lot nicer. Again, don't worry if you don't cover the chip fully. You see some gaps on the chips there where there's no chocolate. That doesn't matter. The ones in Japan certainly are not fully covered either. Just as long as, you know, when you get a mouthful or when you get that bite that you do get the chip and the chocolate. Yummy. Okay, so there are plain chips. Let's do some of these wedges now. These are the chili. These are the smoked garlic. Doesn't matter that you put them all in the bowl at the same time. When we, when we eat them, we're gonna know which flavor is which. I tell you what is nice chocolate coated that you may not believe me in, but you've got to really try it, and that's carrot. Chocolate coated carrot, love it. Our teacher, when I was in school in year seven, so a long, long, long time ago, she made it as a bit of a joke to the students. It was like, you know, here, everybody, come up, have a chocolate, at which point people would bite into it, and there was a big bit of carrot inside it. But it was really nice. All of us absolutely loved it. I don't think there was a single student that didn't like it. So now, whenever I do get the opportunity and I want a snack, or a treat, I should say, uh, I have chocolate-coated carrot. But if you have something that's chocolate-coated, that's a bit weird or unusual, let us know in the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to try it. Or if there's something you want me to try that's chocolate-coated, that you're a bit scared of trying yourself, please let me know and I, I will also try that as well. I'm happy to be the guinea pig for you all. My favorite chocolate ever was uh, Vegemite chocolate. Vegemite and chocolate just go together so very, very well, I have to say. Because Vegemite's very salty, or tastes very salty. And, you know, chocolate and salt go together very good. We've still got some chocolate left, so let's uh, Oh, 
Oh, that's the easiest way to do it, just to mush them around. Yeah, so what I'll be eating all night tonight, I'll have to put a movie on. This could be my movie snack. The problem I have with chocolate though is I can't just have one piece. I have to keep eating and eating until it's all gone. Are you going to balance it? You are. Oh, there's more in there. They're all hiding in the chocolate now. There we go. Mm. Look at the mess I've made, but that's all right. It's my house, I can make a mess. Into the fridge they go. And we'll leave them in there for eh, 10 minutes or so, just long enough to harden up that chocolate. And while we're waiting for that to set, I'm gonna eat the chocolate that's remaining. We'll be back soon. And we are back to taste test our chocolate coated chips. Now they were in the fridge, they would take forever to set and I'm dying for chocolate, so I'll put them in the freezer. Put them in the freezer just for a couple of minutes. And here they are. Woohoo! Don't they look scrumptious? <laughs> Not really. All right, I've got a container to put them in anyway because I won't be able to eat them all now, even though I would really like to. Uh, I'm going to put them in here for a little bit later on, but let's try one of them first. All right, let's try the normal potato chip. This is like what you get in Japan. It doesn't look like what you get in Japan. As I say, the chip maybe is a bit too thin and maybe the chocolate's a little bit too thick, so, you know. The chip is way too thin, so you do need thick cut chips, but I have an idea. Let me try something. I just sorted this now. Let's get two more chips. That's it. That is it. Mm. Mm. So yeah, if you have three chips and then put chocolate on them, it will taste just like the Japanese one. You must be able to get thick cut chips somewhere. Surely you can. If you have any suggestions, put it in the comment box below. All right, now the wedges, got to try these quick because the chocolate's already starting to melt underneath the studio lights. This is the sweet chili one. Awful. Mm. It's awful. The chip still has that honeycomb sort of uh, texture to it that when you bite into it, it sort of like, yeah, breaks up very weirdly in the mouth, but the taste is just not right. I'm not liking the wedges out of the chocolate. I'm not liking the wedges in the chocolate. Weirdly, the garlic one tastes... A bit better, not much better, but a bit better. I certainly wouldn't make them or buy them. Um, yeah, the crunch and everything's horrible to it. So, so those wedges chips avoid like the plague. I honestly thought they were going to be good, but they they really weren't. There's nothing good about those wedges chips whatsoever. The potato chips, on the other hand, they're fantastic. They're, they're really good. Okay, so in conclusion, the wedges are awful. Even before the chocolate was on them, they are awful. Not just the flavor, 
but the whole feeling and experience in the mouth, I, I don't know what they were thinking of. And honestly, I thought they were going to be something completely different, but it is like chewing into a uh, honeycomb. It, it's just not pleasurable at all. And when you're chocolate coated, I thought the chocolate might absorb into it a little bit and, and make it a lot uh, softer or a little bit softer. It doesn't. It, it just clashes with the flavors and everything. It is really repulsive, so don't go for the wedges. The chips, on the other hand, there's potential with them. They're not exactly like the Japanese ones, but they're close to it. If you just do the single chip, there's not enough chip there. The chocolate overpowers the chip. But if you sandwich, say, three chips together or manage to find a thick-cut chip in your country and then chocolate coat it, it's close. It's not exact, but it's close. But anyway, try them. Let us know what you think in the comment box below if you thought they were good or bad or whatever. If you've tried the Japanese ones, let us know that in the comment box below as well. But that's enough of me for today. That's about it, really. I'm now going to go eat an awful lot of chocolate wherever you are in this big, wide, wonderful world of ours. Thank you for joining us on the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel. Don't forget to join us next Monday for another Munchy Monday. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening or night. We'll see you around.